Hey, thanks for checking out this video. This video is the second one that I've done today. If you're watching this, share the video, subscribe to the video, leave comments. If you leave comments, I'll do my best to reply to them. I will get to them at some point. Um, share the video on your Twitter feed. Um, like it, subscribe to the channel, add me to your feature channel list. Um, check out my poetry, allpoetry.com slash darksidewriting. Anyways, um, sometimes questions come up in forums um, where people with borderline personality disorder will um, ask if you know they can become schizoid, and uh, <coughs> uh, you know, kind of go from borderline personality disorder to schizoid personality disorder. And that's something that I've thought about quite a bit recently because a lot of the times um, if I look at the traits of a schizoid, I can relate to a lot of them. And so it's a question that I've thought about and the more I don't, um, I don't proclaim to know a lot about other mental illnesses or personality disorders um, outside of borderline personality disorder um, my understanding of other personality disorders is pretty remedial. But the more I thought about the question, um, borderlines and schizoids are um, almost polar opposites of uh, one another. Um, people with borderline personality want people to love them and like them and have people around them. Um, unfortunately, it's our disorder that affects those relationships and um, ultimately ends the relationships and just makes them dysfunctional where a schizoid is um, you know, a loner and content being a loner um, and they don't have the desire for close relationships or friendships, or that's my understanding at least. Anyways, a lot of that is me. Um, you know, I haven't dated since 2011. Um, I haven't had any desire to. I don't have any close friends. Um, I'm just really detached from that. So the more I thought about that question, you know, schizoids, you know, can a borderline person become uh, schizoid, I thought about it, and um, my thoughts on it are this, is that somebody with borderline personality disorder cannot become schizoid. Um, I think what ends up happening is somebody with borderline personality disorder can also, can often enter into a uh, detached state, um, which is a defense mechanism just to protect themselves from hurt. And, um, you know, they just kind of shut off their emotions to others and, and keep their distance and not allow those personal attachments to develop, which is me, um, for the most part. And, um, so I think the difference is, is that Somebody with borderline personality disorder can enter into this detached state, which you can read about it. It's often referred to as a detached protector mode. But with a, a person with borderline personality disorder, even if they're in that detached protector mode, the real underlying need or the real underlying want is to have those relationships and to be able to maintain those relationships. Um, they, you know, we want people around us and be accepted. And that's what makes us different from a person with schizoid personality disorder where they don't have that underlying need or want to have people around them. They're, they're content um, being a loner. They don't need people around them. Um, so that would be the difference to me. Um, person with schizoid personality disorder, you know, that's how they are. They want to be the be a loner. They're content being alone. 
They don't need those, you know, uh, close relationships. There is an underlying need to have those relationships. And a person with borderline personality disorder does have those underlying needs and wants to have uh, close relationships and friendships. It's just that uh, um, our coping skills and our the way we interact with others is dysfunctional and chaotic and often those relationships end. Um, but we do want those relationships and so often um, we just kind of detach to protect ourselves which is really what I've done um, just because I'm tired of being hurt and I know my behaviors and I've destroyed so many relationships in the past it's just easier to shut off and not allow myself to get connected to people so the difference between a borderline personality person with borderline personality disorder and schizoid personality disorder is one I do not believe that a person with borderline personality disorder can morph or change into somebody with schizoid personality disorder I think they're two completely polar opposite disorders um, I think what makes the two separate is uh, I think somebody with borderline personality disorder can get to the point where they've been hurt so much they can just detach and go into this mode where they shut off their feelings um, that can mimic a schizoid um, but a person with borderline personality they have the underlying need want to have people around them and friends and relationships and a person with schizoid personality disorder doesn't have that same underlying need or want to have close relationships or others around them they're content uh, to be alone so that's my thoughts on borderline personality disorder versus schizoid personality disorder but uh, and if you want to read about detached protector just go to google and type in detached protector um, i relate a lot to that and um so anyways, that's this video. Again, click like, subscribe if you have questions. Um, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll get to them at some point. Share the video. I'd like to get this up to 50, 50 views as soon as possible. Um, thanks for checking this out. Um, I'll probably do another video in a few months. So thanks.